Welcome back, guys, to another roundtable. My name is Adam. With me once again, I have Rusmin. Hi, everyone. And instead of Victor, I have a very special guest today. His name is Casey Lau. Welcome, Casey. Hi, my name. Hi, I'm, I'm Casey. Yes, I just introduced you. <laughs> 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 All right, so Casey um, is actually from Malaysia, but you came in from through Taiwan, and then you were in the US for a few years. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, your trip around the world. And Casey, we've actually known him for, more, I think, 10 years, more than 10 years, yeah. thereabouts. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could be more than so that. So Casey is the founder of CaseyLau.com. So I think if you're a Malaysian and you're in personal finance space, CaseyLau.com is, I think, one of the pioneers in you know in the online space for personal finance in Malaysia. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Casey Lau. Casey Lau. Casey Lau. Casey Lau, uh, financial educator, author, and trainer. All right. So when was your first? Uh, when when did Casey Lau start again? Uh, my I my first blog post dated uh, December two thousand six. Two thousand six. <laughs> wow, that's a long, a long time. Years, right? Sixteen years. Yeah. Yeah. So Casey Lau is has been around for a long time. Uh, still running to this day, right? Yes. Yes. So yes. yeah, still if you know him, sense. do check out CaseyLau.com, especially if you're from Malaysia. But today we're going to talk about you know uh, this particular company that Casey has noticed while you were on your travels in Taiwan and in the US, all right? So, I mean, we just want to do a bit of a quick catch up because it's been 10 years since I saw you. I hope I look the same. (laughs) You look more good looking. Well, thank you so much. (laughs) (laughs) He has a way with words, man. Yeah, the the first question I ask you is like, do you work out? Do I work out? I do. (laughs) I look the same. So, yeah, so it's been 10 years since I actually saw you. Uh, I think we communicated online and all that. So. And you told me that you came in, you flew, actually, Casey is here, uh, you're going to the airport later today, right? Yes. So you actually live in Taiwan right now? Yeah. Yes. All right, so... Taipei. Taipei. Mm-hmm. And before that, you were in the US for some time. So tell us, mm-hmm. I mean, I knew, when I knew you, you were in Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, how did you end up in the US and then Taiwan? And then now I'm seeing you <laughs> being back in Singapore. Yeah, I'm, 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 I think I'm sort of lucky because my wife is in a high-tech uh, space. So she's doing very well in, in her career. So you got job offer in the US. And, uh, you know, I enable that. That means only because I don't have a, a physical, sort of physical career that I have to be in Malaysia yeah. because I run the business, the lifestyle business all online. Yeah. yeah. So I said, okay, you want to move then? Let's go. Okay. So, <laughs> so the wife says, just go. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. Because I, I, I also like want to live the American dreams. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. So, so we went there for like two years plus and then... Uh, when, when, when was that? When did you move? 2018. 2018. Okay. 2018. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So at that time, uh, yeah, everything's is good. We got big house, big cars. You know, like just like American dreams. Two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing we we, yeah. we couldn't commit yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> but a lot of my Malaysian friends over there, they, they eventually they, they will get a block. Okay. <laughs> Do you know, miss uh, chocolate? <laughs> oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, the the only way. You know, the, the only way to have good food in the US is when the Malaysians have party. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So everyone, everyone will be there. Okay. You know, just nice. for yeah. some will do chakwe so, so you have kind of your own unique community. Yes, yes, All right. Yes. So you moved to the US because your wife had a career opportunity in the US. Yes. She's in the tech industry. And then uh, you were there for two years in the US? Yeah, we have. We, we, We've been there for like two year plus, I think two okay. years, six, seven months. And, and then I think then that would have been smack in the middle of COVID, right? After that? Yes. Okay. So, so when COVID happened in March, uh, you know, we, uh, we were pondering, uh, do we want to stuck there mm-hmm. for, okay. for the rest of our life? So, uh, that's the time when we you know we get to think, uh, you know, we are so far away from home. You know? mm-hmm. uh, if, if something happened to our parents, so it really takes more than a day to get back. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, then my wife saying, okay, uh, if if you can pick another place to stay, where, where do you want to go? Okay. So, uh, and then Singapore. what's the company you want to work for? Oh. <laughs> so, so you name that. Okay. <laughs> so the place is Taiwan. So during the COVID time is when she can interview remotely. Okay. Oh, that's the beauty of it, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, she, she got to do that. And then we were well, fortunate to get that job offer and we moved to Taipei okay. in 2021. And you've been in Taipei since then. Yes. And you're based there right now. Yes. All right. But you're still running your business, caseylaw.com. Yes. From Taiwan, even though it's Malaysian yeah. and, and all that. Yeah. All right. So uh, Taiwan is very different from the US, I must say. Yeah. Okay. Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> totally different. Okay. Mm. Which, which one do you prefer? 
Oh, I actually like Taiwan more. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Taiwan more. So we, we moved, after we moved there, you know, I, I sold my cars in the US. Mm -hmm. And I moved there, I, I, I thought I'm going to buy a car in, in, in Taiwan. No. But uh, after one year, we, we are still carless. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, the public transportation in Taipei is, is yes. great. It's great. Yes, yeah. yes. You move around. It's different from American cities where you just have to drive everywhere yeah. yeah basically within walking distance you got everything you need right yeah, yeah. all right so i think um i mean we're not going to talk more about you know yeah. casey's live and everything because i think uh we want to focus on investments which is what this channel is all about yeah. and the reason why i brought up casey's experience in the u.s and in taiwan is because there was one particular company that caught your eye while you were in the u.s and then again when you were in taiwan yes and that company is costco Mm. All right, so I think we cover Costco, uh, mention it here and there a few times on this yeah, roundtable. Yeah. And Cos Costco is a great company. So I think before we jump into your experience of Costco in the US and Taiwan, maybe just a quick introduction of what Costco is uh, and its business all, and all about that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Costco is a, you know, is a retailer yeah. uh, where you pay membership to get in. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's like you know, when, when, when I was uh, in the US as a tourist, mm -hmm. a bit, some of the Americans will ask you, do, do you want to have a tour in Costco? <laughs> okay, so when you first got there, you were like, that was your, that was their, their like yeah. the theme park in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. their theme park, their, their Disneyland for the adults. Okay. That's what they, they oh, term oh, it. Yeah, right? yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, I've it, been to Costco, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can do treasure I always hunt. wanted to go to Costco, but I couldn't. I was in San Francisco the other time, uh, you know, I didn't have a membership, so I couldn't get into the attraction. Okay. <laughs> and you want to buy a one-day pass? <laughs> no, 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 it's the one-day one pass. One-day pass, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I'll let you know a trick how to get the one-day pass, right? Okay. So your friend, if if your friend have a membership and they cannot go with you, they can buy a cash card for you. Okay. Uh, might, okay. Maybe twenty dollars or something, and then you have that cash card. You see, you go in. You want to spend that money, then they will let you in. I uh, see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think that can be a video, right? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> okay. So the Costco is basically a discount retailer. Uh, and it's huge in the U.S. Yes. Right. I've been to Costco, huge. and everything. When every time you go into the U.S. Costco is like this amazing, like you said, it's a Disneyland for adults because everything yeah. there is huge. Yeah. They sell like orange juice and peanut butter and everything, even like gas for yeah. like huge discounts yeah. and you can buy lots of it. Yes. So what was your experience your first time stepping into Costco when you were in the US? You know, maybe the first impression is like, uh, okay, what is on discount? Okay. So uh, usually the prominent things they put once you step in is the expensive stuff, mm -hmm. jewelries and the Max computers, okay. All those uh, high uh, ticket items, and actually, before you walk in, there's a car outside already. Okay. You put a car, <laughs> so if you want to buy the cars, okay. Okay, you buy cars there as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's the time. I think I think the first time I went to Costco, they, they put a Honda Civic out there. Okay. Mm. Then the, the the Civic is like what? I forgot the price. 12,000, 12, yeah, okay. something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Singaporeans <laughs> cannot understand that. But okay. time, Singapore is times ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More than that now, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was basically like, it was like a wow moment for you, right? You can, you can buy a car, you can buy yeah. everything. And, you, and you, I think you were telling me just now that you, could, you went to Costco basically mm -hmm. once a week because you could pump gas as well. Yes. Yeah. So it was like a weekly pilgrimage for you to go to Costco. Yeah, yeah sort of, sort of like, a, we are sort of like a cult member. Okay. So uh, what happened is, uh, you know, because I, we have two cars, so every, every week you at least have to pump gas one. So you'll yeah. go there and then, uh, once you're there, you just go in and Buy grab some deals, right? Yeah, um, yeah. We'll get some foods because we cook a lot in America. You have to cook. Yeah. So you'll, you'll also buy the eggs, the veggies, the fruits. Right. And then uh, they have a lot of, uh, well, um, you no know, very delicious uh, made Cook, uh, no, already cooked food like pack. Oh, the chicken, right? The chicken is actually ah. Also, the chicken. The chicken is the, crazy. The chicken is like I think they sell it at a loss. But it gets you into the door yeah, so yeah. that you buy other things. They like this, almost this, like their hot dog. The, yeah, the, the rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken, yeah. yes. Okay. It's, it's five dollars in the US. For a whole chicken. And and you know how big the chicken is? I don't know, man. Tell me how big American chicken is. It's are. really crazy. That that chicken is like a turkey. <laughs> so we, we have three person at home. So if, if I got that chicken, I have to eat it for a week. Okay. Yes, I have separate into four or five meals. American oh. can finish it in a day. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, that's great. I mean, five dollars for a whole chicken can feed your yeah. family for, I guess, a few days. And then I heard that the trick is that they they put the chicken at the back, very back. So yeah. it's like the diagonal back. 
Okay, so they want so you to you walk, walk through yeah, everything. Yeah, you have to walk through okay. everything. Around. That's very so smart. Of Costco. Yeah. 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 So I think I think that was I think those are the highlights at the first time when you go to Costco <laughs> and you see all these things okay. that everything's so cheap. <laughs> and then you because it's so cheap, you just like I, I need to buy everything. And you like kinda of like saying that it was kinda of like a treasure hunt, right? Yeah. You go in and it's like what what do I buy today? What's on discount? And <laughs> that's what happened, was it correct? Yes, and, and then you know one thing we, we when we talk about cheap, we, we might think of like the absolute price of cheap. Okay. Like, let's say you want to buy a toothpaste, you you want to buy the cheapest. No, it's, it's not that yeah. kind of man, mentality with Costco. They they also want to give you quality. It's, mm. This is just not cheap. Okay. So so we kind of like after like two three years shopping in Costco, what I realized is that uh, I was being uh, you know being attracted to upgrade my lifestyle. Okay. Oh, oh. This, this, this is the thing happened to me. So you spent you started spending more. We spending actually more and more. I know I, I got a bike there. Okay. <laughs> I, I made my spec there. You know, oh, uh, when, a when motor I, bike or a bicycle? Uh, uh electric bike. Okay. 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 Bike. And then uh, <laughs> I I got my Mac computer there. Uh, so oh, TVs, wow. everything, know, sound bar. Oh wow. So every every time I I think of buying something, uh, I will Costco. think. Do they have it in Costco? <laughs> so it's not Amazon. It's Costco. No, it's Costco first. Okay. Because, okay. because why? Because I buy from Costco, I got rebate mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. of the executive. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then you know that you are not going to pay more than uh, you. You are not going to find that pricing anywhere yeah, else because, because they, I tried. Correct. Yeah. Because I tried. I definitely tried. I tried Amazon. If if this is uh, on Amazon, probably you will have the same price, probably. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. But you know, but if you go to Costco, it's most probably going to yeah. be the cheapest you can and, find anywhere. And the thing is, they are going to beat the lowest price you can get elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Even themselves. Okay. You know, sometimes, let's say you buy this TV, mm-hmm. but next week, they have a deal for mm-hmm. this TV, exactly same TVs, and mm-hmm. then they maybe have a $50 off. Oh. Then you can claim back that $50 okay. next week. So it's like yeah. this this uh, positive reinforcement where you go there, you have so much fun buying cheap stuff yeah. and then you think of Costco all the time and so you kind of like have this association. Every time you go there, you're happy. Mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you feel that way? right. <laughs> yeah, you're getting deals. And, <laughs> so you, you just know. keep wanting to go back because yes. it's like really like Disneyland in a sense yes, for yes, shopping. Yes. Yes. And then you can buy everything. So you, you went there every week in the US. So uh, we all know Costco is huge in the US. But the interesting thing is that when you went to Taiwan, mm. you've discovered that Costco was in Taiwan as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised to see Costco when you moved there? Yeah, I, I was very surprised. So, so of course we, we went in, I still got my membership at that time. Okay. So I went in, it's even more surprised because <laughs> so packed. It's packed. It's, it's really packed. It's like, okay. it's like crowded. Even so more crowded than it was in the US. Even more crowded. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because one thing, the, the space might be smaller and then uh, there are more people in there. Okay. Mm. You can hardly walk with your car. Oh, okay. Yes, it's true. So mm. Costco in Taiwan, what, what's, what's it like? I mean, how is it the same and how is it different in, in Taiwan? Yeah, uh, I think the best selling stuff might be the, the food, okay. the, the ready-made food. Mm-hmm. Where you can you know, just take back like the chicken. Okay. So so, the things they sell in U.S. and in Taiwan is different actually. Okay. Like you can you can get, get Thai salad there. You can mm-hmm. get Singapore laksa there. Okay. Uh, so in, in 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 Taiwan, okay. so it, they, it, they, they say the, the one thing you have to buy. Is it good? It, it's it's really good. It's good. It's okay. really good. <laughs> All right. And so so I heard that though I, I don't know they they pay. Um, very good uh, chef to come up with the recipe. Okay. Coming mm. from a Malaysian point of view, I believe. Yeah, if a Malaysian says <laughs> Singapore food is good. Oh, really? I have to trust that guy, yes. man. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysian standards are a lot higher. <laughs> well, street food, Malaysia is, yes, yes. I think Malaysia is, takes the kick there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, Taiwan, you can, basically you're saying that Costco is has different products in Taiwan. Yes. So they managed to find a way to they didn't they didn't just copy the the model wholesale from the US. I mean the mo- mm. the models the, the same models the membership. Same. They they sell you in bulk and at discount, but yeah. they were very smart at buying s- selling things that the locals wanted to buy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's, I think it's quite easy for them to control too because they only have like f- around 4000 items okay. in the stores. Mm-hmm. So if they want to sell one thing, they maybe sell just one brand mm-hmm. or two. That that that's it. So uh I think it's easy, much easier to control compared to other retailers that you carry 10 times more items. Okay. Mm. And there are how many stores in Taiwan right now? 14. 14. 14. Wow. 14. I think wow. it's quite mature because you, you think of it, Taiwan is about 25 million population. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shanghai alone is about that. Yeah. Uh, so okay. now we have like two stores in Shanghai. Uh, one, one in Shanghai, one in Suzhou. Okay. 
And the third one is coming up in Putong. Why wow, are they not coming to Singapore? <laughs> <laughs> we need one call, Costco. Yeah. Costco, you're listening to this. I mean, just yeah. put one yeah. Costco here, man. Yeah, at least uh, one. At least one. <laughs> just, just one. I mean, IKEA has done it, so I think you guys yeah. can do it too. But anyway, back to Taiwan. <laughs> so, so they're very successful in Taiwan. I mean, 14 yes. stores. Yes. It's packed. Packed. And, and they basically sell things that people want to buy all the time. So yes. the, the management has done a really good job at, like you saying, I think you were, the, the way they source for things to, to buy, mm-hmm. they do a great job at that, do they? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you, you, when you think of it, their, their, their purchaser, their job for the purchaser, yeah. it's, it's not like going to source for product, it's more like people coming to pitch their product to them. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So yeah. because you have the purchasing power, the volume, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the volume, so everyone wants to get on that. All right. So I think it's the, the other way around, it make their job easier too. Okay. Mm. You have yeah. to prove to them, you know, my things will sell at your store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So even in Taiwan, it's packed. And I guess you're the same membership you use in the US, you use in Taiwan yes, as well. And, uh, and, you know, it's like you were saying just now that, you know, Costco was kind of like, they don't really have a business. I mean, people will see them as a retailer. That's like yeah. their business model. But you're saying that their real business model is actually kind of like a SAS business model. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, our viewers yeah. want to hear about that. I mean, it's an interesting concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I also read about it somewhere. So, okay. so it's basically like you know, when, when you pay for uh, a SaaS product, yeah. right, you pay and then you, you use as you go, right? So, so Costco is something like maybe a purchasing as a service mm-hmm. or negotiation as a service. That means you, you pay them the membership the so that they find deal for you. Maybe mm-hmm. deal finding uh, yeah. as a service. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know when you look at their their financials, is that their membership fees, hundred percent of it, flows Close. to the bottom line. Correct. Flows to the bottom line. You, you know that every dollar they collect on the membership fees is going to be profit, mm-hmm. pure profit. Mm-hmm. So if you look at it that way, it's like what the margins are more than hundred mm-hmm. percent, right? Because they still make money from selling the things to you, although they mark up just a little bit. Fourteen percent is the max they do. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So the real business is actually their membership. Yeah. And you know it's recurring, it's predictable, and then the pro- the service that they product provide you for the membership is finding you the best deals, you know, bulk discounts, great products, high quality at yeah. good prices. Yeah. And you keep going back because you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And mm. and basically they just make a little bit on that side, but the main business is the membership. Okay. Yeah. So that's how almost the Amazon built their Prime business. Yeah. Right? So they have yeah. Prime subscription. Actually, that Bezos got the idea from uh, Costco. Costco. Think, oh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think we wanted to share, I think, Casey's anecdotal experience in Taiwan and in the US because we've talked a bit about Costco, but it's good to hear from someone who's been in Costco in two countries. Yeah. And it's nice to know that they basically run a very tight ship, even though it's in two, like you said, Taiwan and the US is, is different, yeah. different cultures. Yeah. It's a different city or country altogether, yeah. but it's still the same Costco, right? So when it comes to Costco, I mean, if they can, the other question would be then, if they can do it so well in Taiwan, do you think they can do the same in China? Oh, I'm betting on it. Yeah. So, you know, uh, the more I think of it, I'm, I was, I think this is inevitable. Okay. Okay. It's <laughs> like, sure to happen, right? They have the first two stores, mm-hmm. sell so many memberships even before they open, right? Mm-hmm. And then when it's open, they have to close it earlier because yeah. it's just too packed. Mm-hmm. Like on the first day or something, yeah. that's what I, I heard. I think they're experiencing something. the same thing in China when they expanded their first store. Uh, they've got mm-hmm. 200 over 1,000 memberships signed out on the first day, mm-hmm. which yeah. is crazy. It's right? huge, it yeah. was flooded, the whole store. And this is a huge store that we are talking about, and you're yeah. flooded with people. Yeah. And China can afford that, right? Because they have a billion dollar plus, yeah. a billion plus uh, people. People, yeah. yeah. And the scale that they have is, I think, is going <laughs> to be amazing. Yeah. So, so, would you think that? Costco is kind of like mature in the US, more mm-hmm. or less. Yeah. But you think the international expansion is some runway to go? Yeah, I think still two, three times to go, I guess. Yeah. Well, First percentage yeah. of uh, revenue contribution, I think international still account about less than or 30%. Yeah. About, okay, so I think that could be a long runway for Costco. Yeah. Because out of like uh, the total 830 stores right now, I think mm. uh, about 570 something is, is in, in the US. In the US. Yeah. 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 yeah, so most of it is still, still very so US centric. I think you can repeat the same 600 store in China. Okay. And, and then one in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you, you need three. Three. You need three here. Yeah. Three, yeah. yeah, Middle, East, and West, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think they're good. Yeah, they have not even opened up the tap here, okay? So yeah. I think it's pretty much a long run right there. Yeah, yeah. So I Costco, I guess their business model actually works across different countries and cultures. Yeah. It, it yeah. works. Yeah. 
So, I mean, we love Costco, um, but I think we should cover some of the risk as well. I mean, because we've talked mm-hmm. a lot of good stuff about uh, Costco. What do you think, you know, some of the risks that, because you're an investor yourself. Yes. KCLaw.com is an investment website. Yeah. Uh, I'm also Costco shareholder. Shareholder, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So what do you think of the risks that, I mean, Costco is, is a great company, but what do you yeah. think of the risks that they face as well? Uh, yeah, there's some people talking about like the on, online. Uh, threat. threat. Yeah. yeah, online e-commerce yeah. is going to threat. Mm-hmm. So, but I think the business is different. So if you look at it as a, you know, purchasing as a service. Okay. It's, I don't think they will get hit. So this is the thing I, I think about. And then also probably the demographic because people are, no, we don't have more kids nowadays. Okay. Not like used, the American used to have like three, four kids, right? They live in a big house. Mm-hmm. And uh, probably urbanization, people are moving to smaller space. You don't have to buy a lot of furniture, all the stuff. Okay. So okay. Uh, I, I initially I thought that it's a trade. Mm-hmm. Mm. But so, the more I think about it, actually, when COVID happened, the opposite actually happened. Okay. So what happened during COVID? Well, Costco. Like during that time, uh, like New York City, you know, yeah. Manhattan, people yeah. are moving out of it yeah. because mm. people work from home, study from home. Mm-hmm. So they want a bigger house. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. they move to the suburb. Okay. Then what happened? They move to the suburb. You want to you know, pack your house with stuff. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. where do you go? Costco. Costco. <laughs> yes, okay. Costco. Yeah. So when you think of like, you don't you don't go click on Amazon and I'll wait same day delivery is just too slow you want to go to the store get go to Costco yeah. and come back is that what you were thinking no, my now my first choice is if Costco is selling online I will click with Costco first Costco online oh, okay. yes okay uh, yeah hmm. so the Costco has that online option as well yes yes yeah so wow. yeah. So, doing yeah. so my, my TV I, I don't carry it back okay <laughs> yeah so it was like it was, uh, <laughs> 70 inch TV yeah, so uh, back like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I try to think of risk for Costco. So I mean, it's really hard to think of one because this is also one of those companies that I think Charlie Munger actually vouched yeah. for it. And it's mm. one of his holding, all the three holdings that he, he's got. Yeah. What about inflation? I mean, inflation is going to um, hit everyone. Yeah. So I think about inflation is because the model is always passed back to the consumer, right? And I mean, they try to keep the cost low uh, and then they'll mark up maximum. Yeah. They'll go be like, you know, 10, 13, 14 margin markup and yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, they don't try to make more than that. So if the cost gone up, I, I believe they will pass it down. Okay, so maybe I think KC would have different opinions. Yeah, like, uh, you know, in America, eating out is very expensive. Mm-hmm. So eating out is, is kind of luxury because you will spend yeah. 20 over about 30 bucks per person just yeah. for a meal. Mm-hmm. So if you want to eat out and you want to save money, you where do you go? Costco. Costco. Dollar <laughs> fifty cent for the yeah. hot dog combo and unlimited uh soda. And one five dollar chicken they can feed you for a week. <laughs> yeah, five dollar chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so and then pump gas. Right? Yeah. Mm. So I think inflation I think they will have to manage it, right? Because they, they can't to. escape inflation. It's yeah. raw material cost yeah. going up. And they, 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 they also pay quite well for their employees. Okay. And then and the thing is that soon when when this thing rise, like salary, everything other retailer who are opening like 24 hours like Walmart, mm-hmm. they will have to pay more. Okay. But but Costco, they don't have to. They, they close at nine. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And they can afford to pay more for their Okay. Pe- yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, the other thing that I can think of is that Costco, they are very focused on uh, specific SKU. That's why they always uh, you know, ramp up on the volume of a certain SKU. They don't try to have everything too many uh, items you know, yeah. warehouse yeah. they see what is popular what mm. will sell well and then they will just focus on the particular point and they scale point. that one and then they ramp up the volume yeah. and they, that's where they actually try to keep the the cost uh, low right? by buying the bulk purchase yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think, uh, I mean, we talked so much good stuff about Costco. <laughs> uh, we don't want to sound like, a, you know, uh, we're so biased yeah, yeah. Uh, toward Costco. I'm definitely biased. <laughs> You're definitely biased. You're happy customer as well. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, again, not a recommendation to buy or sell Costco or anything like that because I thought it would be interesting discussion since you have an experience of Costco in yeah. two different countries. Yeah. So what is the share price of Costco um, at this point? At the time, time? this recording, I think their share price is trading at about 484. Okay, so it's, this, this is a stock that you know, always trade at a valuation of between 28 times to 40 times sometimes 50 yeah. times last year yeah. 50 times uh, earnings crazy 50 times right? earnings okay. right? so they almost trade like a SAS stocks yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. although they are not SAS stock but they mm. traded like a SAS stock SAS stocks right okay. so 40 50 times with 100% the percent margin yeah. <laughs> yeah like a software as a service yeah. Yeah. so I guess the valuation now at this point it's, it's come down a bit but it's, it's still expensive yeah. still it's still expensive. about 38 times it's pretty much similar to the level where you know Adobe is trading at right okay. now um, yeah so 
Well, uh, according to Charlie Munger, okay, he did say that you know even at this valuation, it won't go wrong with Costco. Okay, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what he said. And he yeah. said that during last year when he was trading at about fifty times Whoa. earnings. <laughs> okay, okay. Although the short term performance will not be fantastic, but he said over the long run, if you're long term horizon, it will turn out okay. 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 That's Charlie Munger. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so that's I mean you don't just copy the big boys, but yes. basically Charlie Munger said yeah. that I mean I think it's one of his favorite yeah. stocks. It's, it's hard for this business to go wrong. Actually, I see the the way they run the whole business. You know, it's very difficult to go wrong. And they're they're yeah. pretty conservative, right? They're not just yes. expand expand for the sake of expanding. Yeah. Yeah, quite actually, this is the only complaint I have. Okay, you know, they are doing too slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they two three stores a, a, a month. Okay, that, that's how they do it. Probably this year they will do thirty stores. That's okay. it. Okay, mm. yeah. Mm. So they want to make sure that if they expand, they're going to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. Then they expand. So I think they took some time in Taiwan as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 get yeah. fourteen stores. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I did look at their management. I think it was one of the best management that you could have uh, because if you compare their incentives that they are getting the mm. top. CEO, C level executive versus what Walmart guys are getting is different. You know, it's, it's a big mm. margin gap, yeah, in terms of pay. All so right. I mean, you are getting a very good management. They are, I would say, underpaid. Okay, <laughs> yeah. running the business. But that's the philosophy yeah. of the business. They're trying to save money. Save as much, yeah. So when it comes to the management, they should be <laughs> saving money as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and the people who run it I believe in that. Yeah, because yeah. Charlie yeah. Mango is a lot on board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's a pretty good wrap up about Costco. I think. Uh, I mean, again, this is just the surface of it, but we wanted to share your experience. You know, uh, first time experience of Costco in the US since you were there for almost three years, yes. and then now you're based in Taiwan. And uh, when you go back, you go back to Costco as well. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't have that luxury. <laughs> so we wanted to share that with you uh, from someone who's actually, you know, happy. I mean, just wanted to share about Costco and all that. So I think that's a pretty good wrap up, right, guys? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. So my name is Adam. That is Bruce and This is Casey from CaseyLaw.com. We haven't seen him for 10 years. Yeah. I'm really good to have you back, man. I mean, this is your first time on the show, but it's good to see you again. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. Yeah. All right. Finally. Wow. Well, nice. Safe trip back to Penang. Yeah. Thank you very much. So you're going back to Malaysia after this, <laughs> yeah. and then you're going back to Taiwan. Yes. In- so uh, visit me in Taiwan when you go. When oh. you have the yeah, chance. Yeah. We go sure. to Taiwan. Yeah. 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 yeah we can, and we can I'll you. take you to Costco. Oh. <laughs> Costco. We'll I'll yeah. take you up on that. I to eat the Singapore laksa. No, <laughs> from Singapore go to Taiwan yeah, and eat no, the I Singapore laksa something else. <laughs> okay okay I will try the laksa just okay. to see how good it is alright so uh, thank you so much for watching My uh, again I, I may have really introduced ourselves and you know any questions about you know Costco or anything else put them in the comment section of course yeah. if you like this round table please hit the like button do check out kclaw.com as well especially if you're in Malaysia and of course subscribe to our channel many more round tables coming up and we'll see you around again